Hi everybody and welcome to Stamping with Tanya Badalka. Today I'm going to show you this quick and easy little card um, using our Stamping Blends markers. It's really quite fun if you like to color this is the one for you. We are using the stamp set Bloom and Grow and we are using um, this image right here um, and this is the size of it when we are done as well as the the dies that come with it the budding bloom dies and this is the die up here that cuts it out for you so there's no fussy cutting required and then we will be using the stitch so sweetly dies to create this piece right here so I just used a piece of scrap of the cherry cobbler paper and I used the largest rectangle die to cut this out so my piece was larger than the die because it's easier to line up that way and then I just cut out a portion of it. So let's get started. So you are going to need some basic white cardstock and I will just place this over here to the side so that you can see what we're working on. So you need a piece of cardstock for your card base that's uh, eight and a half by five and a half scored in the middle at four and a quarter and fold it. Then your next layer will be four by five and a quarter. And I have done this nice uh, background. I've embossed it with the brick and mortar uh, embossing, 3D embossing folder with my Big Shot. So I've done that already with this piece so that it's easier to show you what I'm going to be doing here. So um, this piece I have put with dimensionals on the back. Um, so that it is raised a little bit. You don't need to do this. Uh, you could lay it flat on your card. It's totally up to you. But I prefer um, because it's white on white. So that way it gives it a little bit of depth. And um, so I've done that. So let's do this and get it ready. These dimensionals stick nicely. So let's place this on our card base like this. Okay, so then our next piece, we're not going to glue this down just as of yet because on your basic black cardstock, you're going to use um, Versamark embossing, uh, embossing ink as well as white embossing powder for this. So I've simply stamped the words that are in this stamp set and um, I've pre-done this for us as well so that I can show you the other portion of this card. So I'm just going to line this up and as you can see it's a little bit longer on one end because um, when you're stamping and and doing embossing sometimes you know there's a little bit extra so I'm going to just see here that's perfect so I'm going to place that in the middle and now I have a little piece here now you can leave it like this on your card but I prefer the black being the final so I'm just going to take with my paper snips you can use your paper cutter as well but this is just as quick so there you go. And now this piece will be glued straight down onto your card base, like so. And put it a little bit lower on your card because your flowers that we've done up will end up on dimensionals just above it so that it's not way up here like a banner. Okay. So your card, what you're going to do is you're going to ink your image in Memento ink. And then what I've done is I've colored completely the um, the flowers in the light color. So I have done my center one in the cherry cobbler. And then you're going to come in and accent it with the, the dark. So you're going to use the light to fill it in and then the dark to accent it. So all I've done to accent it is I've colored on the lines provided by the flower. Okay, so that part's done. And so the Poppy Parade with the light, I have come in and done all the little hearts. And I've used the smaller tip. So on your stamping blends, there is a thick band and a little band. So this is the small fine marker, and then this is the brush. So that's easy to tell before you're opening everything up. So I've done the little hearts with the Poppy Parade. The yellow I have used Daffodil Delight with the dark 
to do the other little tiny flowers. I've colored them all in. The green, I have used the Call Me Clover green. I've used the light and the dark. So I come in and I color with the light and then I just outline in the center of each leaf of the leaves with the dark. So with the orange, I've colored in with pumpkin pie and I've done the flowers already, but I haven't done the accent color. So I'm going to use the marker tip. Uh, no, I'm going to use the felt tip actually. It's quicker and easier and you can color more ground with it. So I'm just lightly putting some. If you've put in too much color, you can't really take it away. So less is more. And then if you want it a little darker, come in again and re replace some of that. So there, I've added some accent to the orange. So then you're going to come in with your dimensionals and place them on the back. So if you love to color, this is the card for you because it's nice and calming. I did quite a few of these for a class that I did last week. So place some dimensionals on the back of this flower unit that you've already cut out through the big shot. Come in and place your flowers like this. So I hope you've enjoyed today's little card and please like and subscribe my channel. Also sign up for the um, when you subscribe, sign up for the the marking where it says that I'm online. So that way when I do upload new videos, you'll be first to know. You can find me here at Stamping with Tanya at stampinup.net online to purchase anything. I hope you've had a great day and we will see you soon. Happy crafting.